Just off Main Street in Manchester, there are the reds, there are the blues, vibrant colors on canvas. And then there's that gray area. It's the one that Norman Greenstein has been fighting off for 14 years. My family and I went on vacation to the White Mountains in New Hampshire. And I was driving down and I noticed my leg was shaking. I was diagnosed in 2008 and I started painting probably around 2013. Norm's diagnosis, Parkinson's disease. The debilitating effects are robbing him of his mobility, but not his motivation. With a palette and some perseverance, a new enterprise. Well, I had always wanted to try my hand at it. And a new image. Right now, it's a face. The 78-year-old father and grandfather has become the self-proclaimed the Parkinson's painter. The Parkinson's painter. His hand wavers, but his determination is steady. It is part high gloss and part Bob Ross. Seven years ago, Norm decided to go outside the lines by painting within them. Having art as a hobby or as a profession, it relaxes me to paint. My hand might shake, but I don't paint with my hand. My hand is like an instrument, it's like a brush. I paint with my mind. In his new life, the former nonprofit foundation exec has created more than 100 paintings. There's now a book, there's a website, and at the Workspace Gallery in Manchester, Norm's art adorns the walls. Norm, it just flies in the face of conventional wisdom that somebody with your affliction can paint like this. Well, when my hand shakes too much, I learned a trick. I got to take my right hand with it right-handed, and I put the brush in my left hand. Or sometimes I'll use two hands. Norm will tell you he's still a starving artist, but some paintings carry price tags upwards of $20,000 a piece. 20% of the profits go to Parkinson's charities, like the Michael J. Fox Foundation. It's become a whole family project. We have a developer team helping us release his first NFT collection to market, so it's really exciting how many people in the community are inspired by my dad and all the people he's brought together. It makes you think, it makes you feel, and that's what it's about. So we love the fact that people are inspired to create, and we love bringing those people together. A few more dabs, some added swirls. There are the reds. There are the blues. And for Norm, the Parkinson's painter, he insists on keeping his days colorful. It's a simple message, right? Yeah, it's a simple message. Don't give up. Do what you can and do more. Even a guy with Parkinson's. Especially a guy with Parkinson's. In Manchester, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News. And as we said, Norman has his own Parkinson's Painter website where you can see more of his works. We'll have a link at fox61.com and on our Fox 61 News app. And some of Norm's artworks are on display at the workspace in Manchester, guys. Jimmy, thank you so much. I mean, talk about being able to adapt and also being incredibly talented. And what I found Special amazing person. about it, Jimmy, is the fact that he didn't paint prior to his diagnosis. He started five years afterward, right? Yeah. He had always wanted to be a painter, Ben and Jen, and he took it up after his diagnosis and said, I'm not, I'm not giving up on this. I'm going to become a it's painter. Incredible. Here we are. Incredible. Yes. We also want to shout out Norm and his wife, Phyllis, on Thursday, right? Thanksgiving. They're celebrating... 50 years of marriage. Wow. Happy anniversary, Norm and Phyllis. Lots Absolutely. to be thankful for. Happy anniversary. Thanks, Jimmy. Thanks, guys.